Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, a bit of a different setting. That's because I'm not in the shop, not even at the house. And guessing you can tell by what I'm holding, uh, I'm at a gun range. So today we're going to do a gun talk video. Um, I told you guys that I get out here one day, go over some of the stuff I've talked about uh, back at home in the shop using my cool fire trainer to show you how you can uh, practice some of these things before coming out to the gun range. So now we're going to go over a few of those things. Uh, as always, please remember all your gun range safety rules. Uh, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to pull the trigger. Uh, make sure you know what's beyond your target and uh, make sure that you are not pointing your gun at anything that you can't be justified. I know one of those rules say you never point your gun at anything you don't intend to destroy. Uh, however, one of the classes that I took uh, one of the guys, he worded that a little different by saying, uh, never point your gun at anything that you can't be justified. Uh, you might be justified in pointing your gun at someone, but that doesn't mean that at that moment you didn't have intentions on destroying it. For example, uh, you're clearing a building and you see somebody who is a non-combatant or a non-threat. You pointed your gun at them. You could be justified in that because at the time you were clearing a building and you were unsure of the threats in that building. You didn't destroy that target because they weren't a threat to you, but you were still justified in pointing your gun. So never point your gun at anything that you cannot be justified in pointing at. Okay, with that being said, guys, um, we do, it. you know, other people are out here on the range shooting. So we are safe. You will hear other gunfire and stuff, but... We're going to jump into this. Uh, the first one that I'm going to do is just a basic drill that you can do uh, practicing reloads. Uh, your timing, you know, getting down your draw stroke from your holster, presenting on target and squeezing off around and then reloading. So we're going to move down here and we're going to go ahead and pop off a few rounds. All right, guys, now we're down range. I've got a target down here. Hmm. Maybe about four or five yards away, but what we're focusing on is the draw. First thing you want to do is make sure you got a good stance. Okay. Uh, shoulder width apart. Your, uh, your back foot, whether you're right, left-handed, that foot's going to be back like you're in a fighting stance. You know, if you were fighting somebody, you would be up like this. So you want to get in a good fighting stance, and that's going to allow you to be able to move if you need to move, you'll probably hear me say the term, get off of the X. So that will allow you to move sideways, move forward, move backwards. It puts you in a good athletic stance. So that way you'll be able to get off the X a little bit faster. So, okay, I'm hot. My red dot is on, but dying on me but i mean target's not that far away so so what we're doing here is i have one round in the gun uh spare mag fully loaded and we're just going to practice on drawing firing and then reloading firing one more round so again this is a good drill to work on because it'll help you work on drawing your host or uh, your gun presenting on target getting that round off and then trying to reload so should look something like this go a little bit slow I can see that first shot, I rushed it a little bit. So I'm about, hang on. Okay, so both of those shots were in the A zone. One of them is high to the left. The other one is kind of low, but it's about what it should look like. Now to reset. And we're gonna run that one one more time. Okay, those two shots, a little bit better. First one there was center mass of the A zone, the other one center and high in the A zone. 
So, not too bad. Now, same thing. I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, both of those shots were high out of the A zones, like right there in that C. So, one second. So I got a one second delay on here. It's just gonna give me one second to push the button. Then it's gonna give me a beep. That time I'm gonna draw, fire, reload, fire. So. Two seconds in between my reloads. So let's see here. All right, try this one now. I think I got this thing set. Try to do this in two seconds. Here we go. Still not getting it within the two seconds, so I'm shooting after that beep. Here we go. Going again. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty cool drill that you can run just to uh, work on some timing, some speed, but mainly to focus on your draw, getting your gun out of your holster because uh, one of the things I get people ask me a lot of times about different holsters, how do you get good and fast uh, drawing from that holster? Simple answer is uh, walk around your house, unloaded gun, and just practice getting to know that holster, drawing your gun out, and presenting. Next thing you got to do is after you feel comfortable doing that, is come out here on the range and apply some of those things. So again... Getting used to with this holster, the uh, it's the Blackhawk uh, T series holster. It's their level three duty, and you have this one. Uh, 
it's the release button I guess for your thumb and what that does is open the uh, hood here and then it also releases the locking mechanism that holds on to uh, your flashlight to be able to draw your weapon and so being able to establish your grip and hitting that lock and then drawing your weapon out um, you know you want to practice that stuff on the range but like I said practice at home dry with a dry weapon uh, practice drawing and presenting just getting good at that motion and then when you come out to the range to apply that stuff hopefully you've built up the speed to uh, make that draw but you also want to remember when you're on the range and you're dealing with live rounds take your time slow down and work your way up don't try to take off running before you've had a chance to at least walk the crawling phase is trying this at home with a dry weapon maybe even when nobody else is at the house or you just go into a room by yourself the walking phase is out here on the range and now you're doing it very slow making sure you got everything down the running phase that's where you're now applying that speed trying to get out and on target as quick as you can but uh, this is a really easy drill also just to get out on the range and get some trigger time this is a good range to uh sorry a good drill to do because you can do this with just one full mag and an empty mag and now you're not burning through your bullets so fast you're actually able to take your time uh make corrections to your shots if you need to if you notice your shots are all over the place this allows you after each shot you can diagnose what your problem is and correct yourself and then bring those groups in uh, mine right now they're kind of they're all centered but they're kind of little left and right not too far but I mean this is a good way for you to understand what you're doing maybe you need to slow it down a little bit maybe you need to speed up a little bit you know you can use a timer with this but it's a really good drill to do to uh, basically get yourself dialed in on the range with your pistol especially if that's your uh, something you're gonna be carrying every day on patrol or something like that but I'm gonna sit out here shoot a few more rounds guys um, that's all I got uh, if y'all guys got any questions, make sure you drop comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm still doing a uh, giveaway on my fishing side of stuff. I'm waiting to hear back from one guy, uh, Mr. Watcher1101, who is the winner. I've reached out to him, but I haven't heard back from him. So I might have to redo that one again. I'm going to give him about a week to respond to me. And then after that, I'll be doing another giveaway whenever I hit to uh, 250 subscribers. And I'm thinking to stretch it out a little bit to hit that 500 subscriber mark and then I'll probably be doing another giveaway except this one will be on the gun side of things so we'll see how things go but uh I'm gonna get sit out here and shoot a few more rounds and then I'm gonna go get something to eat but that's all I got guys so again subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the bell click on the all so that way you get notified every time I do a video uh Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you like the video. Drop comments down below and please share the videos. Uh, help me continue this channel to grow because I've gotten a lot of feedback from some people here in the last few days. Really, really encouraging words and I greatly appreciate that, guys. And uh, keep subscribing because you never know if you might win one of those giveaways. So till next time, guys, on the range, be safe, shoot smart, and uh, shoot straight. Take care, guys.